Hey friends, I am back to make my fifth, sorry guys, fifth uh, little mini layout. I'm having so much fun with these and doing a bunch of videos here. Um, so this one today I'm going to work on right here. And I grabbed a pile of a pack, excuse me, of stamps for this one. And I'm like, oh boy, I'm going to be lost with this one. This is what I grabbed my hand on. I pulled it out and like, ooh, oh boy. I have Looney for you. Peanuts. <laughs> I got a gumball machine. That's cute. Much love. Love. Um, I choose you. Uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Not really weird, but cute. So I got gumballs here. Could do that. Um, popcorn. I might have to to yeah, use. Uh, I wonder if the gumball will fit. It will fit. It will fit even on one page, I think. Um, gotta gesso this puppy. I don't have to. I'm gonna gesso him though, and uh, go from there. Just get a little texture, and then go from there. I have no plans. Just winging it, and. Uh, Oh, I have my gesso. I'm going crazy. And then I'm going to, I once again, attempt a master, mini masterpiece here in this little layout. And I got a little uh, yellow or something on my, oh, it's from that. Something else I have tracking from my, my cover paper shift. But anyways, I'll dry that up and get started with this inking process here and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm starting to ink up my bubble gum machine. Let's see how this works. This is going to work. We will see if it's going to fit on here. <laughs> crazy. I know I have quite a few crazy stamps in there, but this one is just, um, I'm going to put love right here this one oh I did it upside down well maybe I'll do another one <laughs> why would somebody stick at, uh, at upside down all right that's what happens when you don't pay attention <laughs> that's what happens okay I'm gonna stick uh, one right here because now I have I have messed up I messed up the love Stick it right there. Just like it's around in there. Now I've got bubble gum. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna just play with my ooh, ooh, I'm gonna play with my watercolors today. Grab my water brush, where are you? Do I need a water brush? Don't know. I'm gonna grab my watercolors and I don't have the sprays. But I'm gonna so I probably will need a little bit of the water brush. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna play. I probably just it might be too dry. I'll add them on here. Wet it up a bit. See how that works. There's nothing. Yeah, it's not bad. Eh. That's my reaction. Eh. Not bad. Well, there's, that's the reason why I can use my water brush. Add a little bit more dimension because I'm not too happy with that color. Well, the way it was. So what I could do is just add, yeah, that's good. Okay, so that will work. Now I'm just going to try to rub off my color. We go with next, orangey. I just kind of plant my colors that way. I could go get my other stamps and and play with them. Um, or I could just do it like this and have fun with it and see how far I can use something else. And I'm just using this one here just to catch color off so I can get it in the background. 
add some more color. I like this one kind of adds better than my other um, watercolor crayons that are from Target, the cheap, cheap play one kind of things. So there's that. That's cute. So you can also add right directly on there. Add some orange. It's very cute. Okay, let's go with green. I could dip my stamp in the water. <laughs> Wash it off. This green's going on really nice too. Play with it, play with it. It's a little bit of a muddy green because I think I got left some orange on there. Do I have big enough fingers to hold everything? Don't know. Taya. There we go. I'm going to have to do, do the green directly. And I think I'm going to do some blue, too. Light blue. And just keep filling up these gumballs. Here's my blue. Here's my blue. Rubby, rubby. It's different. Just playing with it anyway. I'm not sure that my blue is coming out like I want it to. And I got a little blue in the background. So that's it. I'm just playing with it. I haven't used this color very much, have I? It's really not coming off very good. Okay. I think I got to add my blue right there. I'm trying to get it in there. I might end up having to start um, kind of rumbling some colors in the back there. Because it's uh, getting full. Watercolor bubble gum? What do you think? <laughs> we'll try yellow, but I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be too light. We'll see. That was fun. I probably would be better off uh, just doing a little yellow spot. Probably. So I'm just going to do a little yellow. It's not going to go over that orange too well, so I'm just going to... Put a little yellow. Color it in and paint it in as if it was gumball back there. I have no idea where I'm going with this one. This is a crazy one. Okay, let's see if we could do a little more red. It might turn out kind of a yellow, or um, it might have turned out a little bit of a orange. Just trying to get a little bit of a red gumball back here, and a bit of a maybe orange gumball back here now. Maybe there's a pad of blue over here now. Because now I just got to add a few colors here and there in between to indicate gum. <laughs> gum. Mixture of colors. So that's what I'm doing adding a few colors in there and hey if they're kind of piled up on each other it's okay make sure it clean
in that brush a bit there, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to have mud on my fingers. There we go. I think we got all the gum that we can handle. I'm going to put a little red in these hearts. And I might have to write love on those with my Posca pen. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, done with the watercolors, guys. I'm going to give us a quick dry, and then I'm going to add my red, my gray. I have black and white as well ready here. I'm going to do just the gray around the coin part. Oops, that gray's got some color on it. Just around the coin part here. very light color. I might have to highlight it with some silver. That would be really nice. And there we go. Again, another heat pop. And I'm going to do red. Red on everything else. Just with my Pasca playing with it. I could do paint too. And this is just making it up as I go, but it's been fun. I think this is kind of like a relaxing therapeutic thing where I'm just like, okay, I can't think of what I'm grabbing. And it's been really, really fun. So it's helping me relax and loosen up in my art. And someone else is going to be able to enjoy that. Don't know if this part should be red or not here. But we'll leave that to last, figure that out. There we go. I don't know about this. I think I'm just going to do it red. Just trying to think of what it should be. Probably silver, but can't think of it offhand. I think it's a silver plate in front, but. The gray is kind of not coming out the way I want it to. So I'm going to put a little bit of red here. Go over it with my white. See if I can lighten it up a bit before it's dry. I know it's kind of wonky with Pasca, what you think I'm doing. What do you think you're doing? But I'm trying to make it almost pinky. <sighs> I know you guys can't probably see too much, but that's how it's looking so far. Really cute. And that's that. Very cute. So I'm liking I'm it. I'm going to throw... What kind of background do I want? I'm going to do green. Is that going to be weird? Green. Let's see. I got these Twistle watercolors from Target when it was open here and I'm just doing a different background that's not well I mean it's in the bubblegum machine but it's not really going to make some sense here hmm. I don't think it make it pop I think that's what I'm trying to say is that what I'm trying to say okay playing I don't even know whose book it is because I've got the names covered and I never peeked underneath. So I've been the co they've been covered since I started after I got them all done. And I don't know who's getting this Neato Bubblegum Machine Retro Bubble. Someone is. That's for sure. So I'm going to put a little bit of green that's on my brush because that's what's going through that. Isn't that cute? You guys are like, whatever, lady. Okay. I've got my thinner black pa Posca pen. I'm just going to go on my edges. Because I kind of covered some with some Posca here. I 
don't want to do that. So I'm just going over them. And that's what I'm doing. Yep. Just doing my little coin thingy here. Not that I really went over this one on the glass, but just up here where the Posca pen was and below. And I'm going to make it like a little top. So there we go. I think I'll seal that and then probably add some more. I'm not sure. Well, it's going to be kind of weird. But whatever, I'm going to use much love in there. <laughs> and I choose you, which is kind of weird, maybe. But I'm going to put, I'll probably take the eye out. <laughs> Make sure and just put choose you, much love, choose you. I think that's cute. And add whatever swirls I can add with this. This is just like my, just a bunch of combination of stamps that I grabbed and I didn't have a plan for and that's really what it is so I got kind of there goes my bird blended in together here that's it I'm flopping it everywhere because that's what I'm just just trying to get some kind of flow and I think I'll do one more right here. Just to pull those paper pages together. Crazy. And that's how I used these stamps to kind of pull them all together. I just pulled out and I had to use some of them. I didn't have to use all of them, obviously. I couldn't. But there. Stamps I wouldn't have used until I made my commitment that I had to use them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep going with this. I think I'm going to continue with the green. Yes, I think I will. And maybe add some blue. Just because blue and green make a beautiful teal. Whoa, this one's falling out. This is a light blue. Let's we'll see how this works. See if this works. It's too much. We can plan it together, guys. Let's see if this works. Let's see. I think it works. Blue and green make a beautiful combo. Oh yeah. Kind of just I know I'm going over my stamped image, but it should be good in there, nice and sealed. It's archival ink. And I did some gesso so it doesn't soak all the water doesn't soak through my page. That's why I've been putting gesso on them. I'm liking that. Pull some of that blue, and I could pull some of that blue onto here just a bit. Pulls this page together if I use blue and green. And there we go. Loving it. And I think I'm going to seal that and then I'm going to doodle on it. I'm liking it. Much love, choose you. And there's a beautiful bubblegum machine. I haven't used this machine, bubblegum machine stamp in a few With years. This page, the way it is, and I'm absolutely loving it. I am just going to add, I think, some ink edges and leave it. I'm loving it. I think i got to go back on a few of these and sign them and put the year because... The who I'm sending them to will be putting their art in there. They could cover it up too and all that kind of stuff too. But whatever they want to do, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get offended if I send a journal like this and they add to it or cover up. What I want them to do is add to the other pages anyways. But if they want to add to the ones I arted up, they can do that too. It's their choice. 
And there it is. There we go. I like it. I don't know if I want to do anything else. I think it's just perfect. I do have a Pasca pen here. I might just go in a few little places. Highlight. And you guys can't see a darn thing. And I'm not sure how to fix that. Just getting a new camera. So I'm not really making sense in where I'm probably putting these highlights either. But whatever. I'm just kind of doing. That's what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm just going to put a couple highlights on some of the gumballs. And yeah. I did want to write that love out on the hearts. So that's what I did there. This one's upside down. <laughs> Holding it and writing upside down. It's all good. Okay, right. there is my highlights in my gum machine. Why not? And I think that that is it. I don't want to do too many scribbles or anything, so I might just, like, you know, add a little bit here and there. Mm, that would be probably about it for me. a few things just to make it pop and I'm doing a weird way I'm kind of adding the some of the highlights here below on these and of course some of the highlights on the gum are above but whatever it's whiz what it is and there we go one hope you guys like it don't forget to crap like a duck and i'll talk to you guys later and i hope um you guys enjoy these little mini videos i'm not sure how many i'm gonna do bye <laughs>